every NBA player that's ever made it in the league is gifted in one way or another. Because it takes being more than just your average guy to make it in the NBA. But among all those great athletes, there's still guys that stand out so far above everyone else. Of course, everyone works hard to make it to the NBA, but there's players that, even without much work, are genetically gifted and just born as freak athletes. Players that are way taller, more athletic, or just flat out built stronger than the rest of the elite athletes in the league. Which is what made these 8 guys considered to be true freaks of nature. And we're going to be looking at all of them after we give a couple honorable mentions. We can't just include every short guy that could jump through the roof like Spud Webb and Muggsy Bogues. And we can't include every giant with guys like Manute Bol and Yao Ming. I mean all of those guys were definitely freaks of nature. But the shorter guys were mainly known for their insane verticals. And the taller guys were known for being living giants giants. But these next 8 guys were known for being extremely athletically gifted in every sense of the word. So with that being said, let's get into it with number 8, Nate Robinson. I've always thought of Nate Robinson as the small version of LeBron James. The man's 5 foot 9 with a 43 and a half inch vertical that lets him do insane dunks like this and block guys like Yao Ming and LeBron James. And Nate's even said that he dunked for the first time when he was 13. Alright, I don't know how true that one is because if he's only 5'9 now, when he was 13 he was probably somewhere around 5'3 or 5'4. And he would have needed like a 40 inch vertical. Alright. But either way, what he did in the NBA was still extremely impressive. And for his size, he's always been extremely strong, quick, and athletic. And he was even a great college football player, to the point where a lot of people think that he could have just as easily had a great career in the NFL. And he even went for it a couple years back when he tried out for the Seahawks. The man is the league's only three-time dunk champion, and he made it in a league of giants by simply being a 5'9 freak of nature. Number 7, Dwight Howard. Even if Dwight Howard's true potential was wasted by a long shot, there's still no denying that he was a freak of nature. He stands at 6 foot 11 and around 270 pounds, which is about average or a little shorter than most centers in NBA history, but he's built bigger, so he weighs about 20 to 30 pounds more than your average center. So just his size puts Dwight at a slight advantage. But then you combine that with the fact that the man has or had a 40 inch vertical and that's what makes him stand out. To put that in perspective, that's the same vertical leap as a prime Derrick Rose. A man built like Dwight Howard should not be capable of doing things like this and this. But the fact that he could is what lands him on this list. Now how he actually decided to use or not use all these god given abilities is a discussion for another video. Number 6, Giannis and Tentacumpo. If we're making a video on the greatest freaks of nature, we have to include the man named the Greek Freak, who most of us know is a 6 foot 11 small forward, the same height as Dwight Howard, and most other centers in the NBA today. But the man moves around like a guard, and he's only 23, and since he debuted in the league, he's already put on 30 pounds of muscle, so he's not gonna turn out to be a Kevin Durant. <laughs> By the time he's in his prime, it's going to be scary to see what he actually turns out to be. And he's without a doubt one of the more athletic players in the league because with his long arms combined with his 40 inch vertical, at his highest jump, he can get his hand 26 inches over the rim on a dunk or a block attempt. I mean he doesn't even need that insane vertical because the man can hang from the rim and touch the ground at the same time. And look at the size of those hands. Oh my we could just have an entire spot on this list dedicated to Giannis' hands. We used to think Kawhi Leonard had the biggest hands in the league, but look at this. From his thumb to his pinky is 12 inches, an entire ruler. Number 5, Kevin Durant. You might look at KD and think he's a freak of nature in a bad way because he's so skinny, but he uses that and the fact that he's 6 foot 11 to his advantage. In his draft combine, he was the only player that couldn't bench 185 pounds. 
and he's got the lowest vertical on this list at 33 inches. But he uses his height and his skill to make up for it. Durant moves and handles the ball like a guard, is an elite shooter, a great defender, and one of the greatest scorers in NBA history. Because he can just straight up shoot over most players in the league. The man looks skinny, but he actually weighs more than Giannis and the same as Carmelo Anthony. He used to be listed at 6'9", until this picture went around of him standing next to 6'11", DeMarcus Cousins, and they were the same height. For Kevin Durant to be taller than NBA centers with the skill set that he has makes him one of the most unique players in NBA history. Number 4, Magic Johnson. We all know of Magic Johnson as the most dominant point guard ever because he stood at 6 foot 9. And it's not like he was a small forward who just played point guard to get an advantage like Giannis tried to do a couple seasons back or even like Ben Simmons because point guard was Magic's true position. At his size, he was able to do things with the ball in his hand that no one else his size has ever been able to do. The fact that he was almost a foot taller than everyone else who played his position and he moved just as well as a six foot guard is part of what made him so great and created the idea of the Showtime Lakers. And the fact that he could truly play every position is what makes him a true freak of nature. Number three. LeBron James. It's been talked about his entire career. LeBron's a 6'8", 260 pound small forward that has the strength of NBA centers, just as athletic, and can run nearly as fast as anyone in the league. It was rumored that he had a 4'4", 40-yard dash in high school. He's got a 40-inch vertical and the skill set of a guard, which has helped him do things like this, and this. And like Magic Johnson, he realistically has the ability to play any position he wants and dominate. We've seen guys throughout history with his size, speed, athleticism, vertical leap or strength, but we've never seen someone with all of those things. Of course, he's worked hard to get to where he is today, but a ton of what makes him a freak of nature, he was born with. Which is why he's been a dominant basketball player almost all of his life. Something that's already been carrying on to LeBron James Jr., who's 13, 5'10", and just threw down his first dunk. Number 2, Shaq. There's no doubt that there'll never be another basketball player like Shaquille O'Neal, who was 7'1 and well over 300 pounds in his playing career. Anything's possible, but chances are there's never going to be a guy that's as big as Shaq and as explosive and as athletic as he was in his prime. He was big enough to make some of the league's best players look like little kids and bully every other center on offense. So much so that the NBA actually changed the rules to allow zone defenses so teams would even have a chance at guarding Shaq. And on another note, there's been very few players that have actually ever shattered an NBA backboard, but there's been no one to ever destroy an NBA goal like Shaq did. Even though he was nearly 300 pounds, he had the vertical of right around 38 inches and could touch up to 12 foot 5 inches from a standing position. Number 1. Wilt Chamberlain. We all know Wilt to be the biggest freak of nature of his time because he played in the league in the 60s and 70s. But there's so many stories to prove that he'd still be the biggest and most athletic player there is today and probably there ever will be. And they don't just have to do with the fact that he was 7 foot 1 and 275 pounds. We don't have much to base his actual skill set off of because most of us never really saw him play, but there's clips like this where he almost touches the top of the backboard in game that can back up the fact that people claim Wilt Chamberlain had a 48 inch vertical and could grab a quarter off the top of a backboard. Then there were other stories about his strength like the time where he dislocated a man's shoulder from blocking a dunk attempt so hard. Or when he broke another player's toe when he dunked the ball so hard that it hit him in the foot on the way down and broke his toe. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger said that Wilt Chamberlain used to be able to lift him up with one arm. On top of that, that Chamberlain was always the fastest player on the court. If he got the ball on a fast break, no one in the league was going to catch up to him. And these aren't even half the stories out there about his insane speed, jumping, and his strength. But I think these few couple of stories are enough of a look to realize that Wilt is the biggest freak of nature in the standards of back then, today, or whatever era he would have played in. So definitely comment you guys thoughts on if you agree that Wilt deserves the spot as the NBA's greatest freak